So why do you guys think you have lasted? Let's see, 1977 to 2013 in August. You guys were married 33, 34, 35? Yeah. <laughs> it's, um, <laughs> right. it, it's the grace of God. Trust me on that. Okay. That's very, there's nothing else to it but that. So God plays a huge role in oh, your yeah. relationship. Biggest role. Yep. Uh, Was that an important thing before you got married? Did you ask? Do you believe in God? Did you guys go to church together? We went to church together, but we never, I mean, we didn't have to ask because we already knew. Okay. I mean, she went to church, I went to church, so <laughs> we didn't have to ask that. We didn't have to have that conversation. Right. You Did know. you guys talk about the Bible a lot and scriptures to each other? We do now. But in, back then, you didn't? Occasionally, more so now, and that's, that's just a... a a phase of getting older. Yeah. The older you get, the more spiritual you become. Okay. But, but, but we knew we, were, you know, we were yeah, both grounded. It, yeah, in both believers and, kept, and you know, both of us strong. had Bibles and all this yeah, kind of stuff. We yeah. went to church regularly. It's meaningful. Uh, and yeah, and yeah. So yeah. God has always been the center of yeah. whatever it is we right. are. And when you say by the grace of God, do you think that something in the relationship happened? And if it wasn't for God, y'all would have got divorced, or maybe it wouldn't have worked out. Was there any drama in y'all's relationship? Maybe just one story you can share? Well, I think, I think for us to even have met, because he was literally asleep, and I was, that's the first time I had been there, and um, only was there for the weekend. Yeah. yeah. So if he hadn't, if he hadn't woke up and, and decided for some reason to come out to the club, we would have never met. Yeah. You know? Okay. So she I think, hadn't come back the next. Night. <laughs> <laughs> well, then after that, it was her choice. Not was yeah, no, there is some truth to that because uh, I had decided, like I said, I was fooling around with the band, and um, it was their last weekend, and I was tired, and I was gonna go the next night, which was their last night. Right. And yeah, I, I went to, went to bed, and really couldn't really sleep and it's like well, ain't nothing else to do so I just go on out there it was the only thing happening right and, right and I think <coughs> the other the thing is that um, you know a lot of people tell you well you don't want to meet anybody at the club because they go work you know and you need to meet yeah. somebody in church you know yeah. you can meet somebody anywhere yeah and if it's meant to be you know yeah. it's gonna be you know because we met in the club yeah you sure know? Did. and so you know that thing about well don't be looking for a spiritual man in the club. Well, in the club too. <laughs> <laughs> but I mean, was there anything that probably would have broke up somebody else's marriage but didn't uh, yours? Because I'm sure a lot of people you know nowadays are divorced and, you're, and you hear the reasons why. You're like, yeah. well, we went through that too, but we didn't get a divorce. Yeah. Well, you know, people get divorced over silly things. You know, I mean, kids, I mean, we have issues with, you know, how to raise the kids and so forth. She we approaches do. it differently than I do. <laughs> and, uh, you know, people get divorced over that kind of stuff. And that's I, I, I did the, the trials and, and stuff that we went through. Um, when uh, your brother was born, when he was three months old, I had major surgery. And, um, you know, older. finances are always an issue. Okay. So um, I had major surgery on a night where we usually had a gig. And <laughs> he actually went on uh, to the gig because it was a big thing. And my mom came to town. And what we found out when I was in the hospital, and mind you, I was breastfeeding. Yeah. So I had to stop breastfeeding a three-month-old baby. In the hospital, we found out we didn't have any insurance. Oh. And then, re then he got laid off. And so, um, you know, troubling times are often the times when people, you it's, know, yeah. struggle through how to make it. And, the, the so, and I was not working during that time the, in fact the biggest statistics will show you the biggest reason that people get divorced is behind finances mm -hmm. so or, how or, did you guys make it I, 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 go back to, I, <laughs> I go back to that original statement it's the grace of God but were, did you guys fight about it or like or go mm -hmm. back to no. was it more of a team Ooh, back to the team yeah. thing yeah. and yeah we have squabbles over money but that's it, they're just squabbles you know and then we figure out a way to work it out did you guys ever say you know, at the end of the day, we know we're going to be together. So even if we fight, we're not going to go to bed angry. Did you guys ever have that conversation, or is that just something that happened? That's that's just something. Like, we don't fight a lot anyway. Yeah. Well, I, yeah. So I can say know. that I've actually never, I mean, I've seen y'all, <laughs> you know, whatever, and then dad makes you laugh, and then it's over. So Yeah, we don't fight that much anyway. So that's been a blessing. Yeah. Yeah. So you guys. So we know how to, we know how to, um, you know, if we need to just chill out or back away and deal with it differently or come at it another way or whatever, we do that. I mean, you know, because we won't. 
just take too much time to be angry at people. You know, I got okay. too many things to do to be tripping off of okay. what he's doing or what, you know, what's going to happen, you know? <laughs> what will be, will be. Right. So, okay, so, so speaking of being angry, so I, I can remember a time where Dad uh, actually forgot your birthday twice. <laughs> you <laughs> Why did. are y'all not divorced? Because, <laughs> again, in my generation or some females, well, oh, he don't love me because he don't forgot my birthday, girl. I'm about to leave him. And da, da, da. Uh, again, that's so, not a generational thing. Yeah. That has been classic from from the earliest days. There's some people that stress off of that. And yeah. why, did, why didn't you, Mom? Because I remember talking to you. You were like, eh, anyway. <laughs> like, I don't know. It just didn't bother you. Did it bother you? Not really, because he remembered after that. So, I mean, you know. My heart's in the right place. Yeah. And I'm a busy person. I mean, you know, it's not really that, I mean, big of a deal because you got to validate yourself. You know, you got to make yourself happy. Nobody can really, make, I mean, you know, if, you, if you're getting married so somebody could make you a whole person or make you happy or whatever. It ain't going to work. Yeah. So that movie, <laughs> Jerry Maguire, where Tom Cruise comes into the room and he says, you complete me. That's not what you should be looking for. No. You mean not to be, be a whole person. No. no. Yeah. I mean, you know, he might, he might, um. Because every Com woman loves that line from talking. Yeah, 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 you complete yeah. me. Well, he, well, he, might be, he <laughs> complete, complete you because um, you have somebody that is um, headed in the same direction with you and you're doing things together that complement each other and you support each other in their interests and you know, and you have fun doing it. And it's easy, it's not difficult, it's not hard. We've done a lot of things together. I don't know how we did yeah. how we did them, but you know, and they came out good, you know, and definitely God's hand was in it because yeah, we've done a lot of community things and a lot of I'll other things together. Like so, right. yeah. and you guys mm -hmm. like working together. So, how does Dad complete you, Mom? Well, let's see. Or bring out the better in you? Uh, he, he probably is. I used to be what he called concrete sequential. You know, everything had to be in order, and he's random. Right. And so, I think his random randomness probably um, downplayed my having to have things in such order so you know he's he's um funnier or what do you call it more I'm smart <laughs> <laughs> okay dad so how does mom complete you or add to to you well just the opposite you know okay. i can be all over the map sometimes but there's a method to my madness okay. but there's sometimes really? when yeah really. and do tell <laughs> but there are times when uh it's beneficial to have somebody that can get things done well done and, and get things in order because there's a lot going on like especially when we're in the midst of a project and there's a lot going on and so and and it's nice to have somebody that can get that stuff organized so i don't have to spend time doing that okay so last question what advice would you give? Like my best friend Darnell is about to get married. Yeah. My best friend Tiffany is about to get married. Yeah. What advice would you give us twenty somethings, even me, your daughter, um, for that next step? You about to get married? Yes. No. Uh, <laughs> <laughs> yes, and here he is. No. No. Wow, no. we just met him. No. Yeah. That would be nice. <laughs> To surprise you with a marriage of, to a guy you never met? No, I didn't say that. Oh, okay. <laughs> <laughs> I was say. Don't jump to conclusions. Okay. The right way and the wrong way to do anything. Right. But anyway, we digress. Yes. Yeah, so well, what, you know, what I think the biggest thing is when people, um, when you get married, when people get married, it, it's it's not the end of who you are. I mean, you still go towards your goals, and but you work together and you support each other, and you might not be able to do it all at the same time. But you're still you, even though um, you're together doing things. And so, um, you know, it's a give and take kind of thing. I mean, you support each other as you go through your growing process and and defining um, what God wants you to, you know, to be and, and who, who, you know, what your what your mission in life and and you really support each other through the changes. Yes. Yeah, so, so it's not all. Um, you know, there's there's times where you have to do something maybe that you don't want to do so the other can do something that they want to do, but you just compliment and support each other and give each other strength to carry through because time is not always easy. <coughs> Situations in life is not always easy. Nope. You know, okay. But the challenges in life makes you stronger. Dad? I, I have nothing to add to that. <laughs> so you concur? 
pretty much. <laughs> Don't sweat the small stuff. Really, because life is too short. Life is too short. So enjoy the blessings. And I think that is where we end yeah. for today. So I can go back and get in the bed now? Yes. <laughs> Thank you.